What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Mamalu. My name is Aaron. This is my Mamalu. Judy Marion. Judy Marion. We're back with another episode. This was a special episode. As you can see, we're in another set. We're in another kitchen. I have moved out of my mother's home. Finally. You, finally. You, you're excited about that? Too excited. Too, yeah. No, yeah. Contain your excitement. I don't excitement. have to cater to your request anymore. Who? What? You catering to what? To to you. Oh my God. Cater to what you're request? Off my shoulders. Off my shoulder. Yeah, clearly she's very excited about this, as am I. Mom, why don't you introduce our special guest chef for today? Megan, please come along. Megan, okay, give a round of applause. Let's give a round of applause. We got Megan here. It's my girlfriend, my partner, and also what's very special about this, for some of y'all know, maybe some of y'all don't, this is not just uh, post lunch. This is, <laughs> she is a Mamalu to be. My Mamalu has to teach the Mamalu to be how to cook. Many dishes, but we're gonna start with one. Megan, are you excited about this? Very excited, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> excited, a little bit nervous? Why are you towering over my mom here? Yeah. Holy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting, I want her to learn a lot of dishes because, you know, my mom's a good cook, so I would hope you cook something. Yeah, can't cook spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> yeah. more, more than spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, you gotta get some Mama Lu uh, recipes in there. So, okay, Mama Lu, what are we making today? What are we teaching Megan? We are making today is mince. Mince. Kima is another word for it. This is ground beef. Uh, we're making this because it's a quick, easy recipe that uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy as well. And Megan uh, enjoys learning how to make yes. it, hopefully, <laughs> as well. <laughs> Shout out to Megan's family. Look what she's cooking, man. Mince, let's go. Pew. So, Mamalu, yes. <laughs> what ingredients are in mince? In the mince, we need two or three onions. The more onions, is better. So I'm putting uh, chopped onions. I have some green chilies, about three to four green chilies, depending how hot you want it. You can add more or even less, or even take it off. Two tomatoes, peas, if you like it. If not, you can put even potatoes or mixed vegetables. And uh, coriander leaves, or you call it cilantro, that is for garnishing. And then you have our Indian spices, which is all magic powders. And that is, I'm going to add turmeric powder, the sunshine of Indian uh, cuisine. Uh, the chili powder, that gives a heat. Yes, spicy. Yes, and then we have the garam masala, or the mixed spices. That's okay. a mixture of all these spices. That's cinnamon, clove, cardamom, pepper, extra bold peppercorns, meat masala, or you can even add keema masala that you get from the Indian stores. Okay. Yeah, so it depends. You can also not add it. It all depends. Clarified ghee, and I've been told by my friend Asha, who is a nutritionist, ghee contains omega-3 and the regular oils contain omega-6. So when I do my cooking, I add a little of both and add a lot of flavor. Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Okay, Mamalu, what's the first step? What are we doing? We have to do what? Chop the onions, the tomatoes, the green chilies, the cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> There's first step one, two, three, four, five. There's all the steps. Step one is is it chop the onions? Yes. Yeah. Chop the onions. So Meg, are you gonna chop the onions? Yes. Are you any good? So we got a big knife here, Meg, for uh, for you to chop the onions. That's so experienced cooking. So you can't use this? No. Oh no. <laughs> 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 okay, what's going on? Ah! It's my little chef's knife. A little mini mini chef knife. Meg's gonna chop uh, the onion, step one. So mom, we're just dicing it? Yeah. Okay, you go over here, I'll go over here. And what you say, how long do you have before what happens? My eyes bleed. Before her eyes bleed. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna chop two onions, and then mom, what do we gotta do? Chop the, the tomatoes? The green chilies, cilantro, and that's it. Okay, everything's chopped now. My eyes bled a little bit. <laughs> what? I'm going to be your supervisor for okay. today. Oh no. And you're going to be my trainee. Okay. So don't chef. hesitate to ask me if you have any questions you didn't understand, I'm ready to tell you. All right. Okay, but we need a lot right. of patience. Yeah. <laughs> What's the first step? Okay, so how much oil was in there? Six, six tablespoons. Six tablespoons. Yeah. And now we're going to add some ghee. Yeah. Half and a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon? Yeah. Yeah, that should be enough. All right, so now that that's in. The spices. Spices. Spices going in. Do you want to stir yeah, it? Yeah, just separate them. Uh, but remove the skin of the cardamom so it gives up the spice flavor. Throw in the onions. Onions, okay. Move them around a yes. little bit. And add a little salt so it removes the moisture from the onions. Right. 
sweat them out. Oh, sweat them out. Oh, that's a new word I learned. All right, make a good, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, a little more. Never enough salt, never enough yes. salt. Yes. Yeah, we have to wait till the onions turn brown. Okay. And then after that, we add the ground beef. All right, so now we wait. Yes. All right, while the onions are browning, Megan, are you nervous to cook Indian food and learn from the OG over here? Yes. This, okay. <laughs> yes. Is Indian cooking... It's high expectations it, here. <laughs> high expectation. Mom, do you think she should be uh, nervous to learn Indian food? No. No? Once no? they have the hangover, nothing happens. It's good at it. So you taught, you were taught by your mom. Yes. And Megan learned lots of dishes from her mom, which I'm going to come do a video with her as well. Shout out to Karen. Okay, we're coming, we're coming to you next. I want to learn that honey ham. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's some good ham. <laughs> But uh, now you're going to teach Megan, right? Because yes. you've been teaching the boys now, it's time to pass it on. Yes. So, uh, is there any other dishes particularly that you want to learn from Mama Lou that you think that uh, she should teach you? All of them. <laughs> Good answer. <Yeah. laughs> All of them. So the onions are, are browning now, and now what are we adding, Mom, next? What's next? Well, next we add the tomatoes or the ground beef. You can see whichever I want to see first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whatever feels right. Is it the tomatoes or is it the ground beef? Tomatoes first. Tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes are up next. Okay. Onions are now brown after a few minutes. All the spices in there. We got a good smell going. We can add in these red bits and I'm going to just use a tablespoon of tomato paste because it gives that nice richness. But uh, I'm running out of. Uh, tomato paste but it's optional it's left to you if you want to add it you can add you can also add like one or two tablespoons of uh, yogurt to give it a little bit of uh, thickness that's if you want to i rarely put it yeah and we're gonna start adding the magic powder so add a little bit of turmeric powder yeah that's enough that's good then uh, say two teaspoons of chili powder is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And last, we'll add the garam masala. That's a mixed spices. But if you add it now, it'll lose all its flavors. So towards the end, we'll add in the garam masala. Garam masala. And here goes the hot guys, the green Ooh. chilies. <laughs> Make it dinner with green chilies, okay? Yeah, I have to pick those out. I can't. <laughs> I can't eat those. <laughs> Gotta saute it for a little while. Yeah. And then what are we adding next? Next, the ground beef. Beef. So you don't get the maxi pad in there. Don't kill me. <laughs> and then and we have a soup cube. I forgot to add that. Chicken? Yeah, chicken or beef. Yeah. Maybe you can add some of this chicken powder. Chicken powder. Or the soup cube. Either you add uh, beef or chicken. It's not coming out. I know I'm not in this video a lot. These two are just going at it. She's doing a great job te teaching. Mom, what do you think how Megan's doing uh, learning the, the recipe so far? So far, so good. So far so good? You're not you're not threatened? No. <laughs> you're not threatened by her? No. Very comfortable from the Ve beginning. From the beginning you're very comfortable. You sure you're saying this now? No, no I don't speak about her behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> she gets whatever she has to in front of me. Okay, so good. Uh, she's in your good books. Oh yes, 100%. Okay, and she's doing a good job so far learning. And uh, we're just cooking down the beef here, and then uh, are we almost done pretty soon? Oh yeah. Can you use uh, other stuff instead of ground beef for yeah, this? Yeah, maybe if you don't like the spicy uh, ground beef or yeah. beef, you can add oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, okay. little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. <laughs> yeah. How do you say it? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Oh, I don't know, I forgot. I put ginger garlic. Where's your ginger garlic? Oh, I have ginger garlic. Yo, sorry, I forgot about ginger Yo, garlic. Yo! I'm not, I'm not used to this kitchen. I'm only used ah, to my kitchen. Okay, this is a new new set. She's not yeah. she's not used to it. So we yeah. forgot the ginger garlic paste. And that normally we add it with the, the onions. Yes. Correct. Yeah, to get with the raw smell. Okay, but is it okay if we add it now? Oh, yeah, yeah. No okay, problem. so just in case you don't add it, just know you can still add it now. It's not a big deal. So I do have some ginger garlic paste. Let's get it. I felt like something was missing. This goes in everything. Okay, one yeah. teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Ginger okay. garlic is my everything. Just like my husband, he's my everything. Oh, man. Did you hear that? No, I can't hear it. I got selected here. <laughs> Okay, Mamalu, she's mixed it all. Now what? What okay, now? What now we got? just add the peas, Megan. Peas. Okay, add the peas, Megan. How do you like being pregnant? I mean, 
it was good up until maybe now. <laughs> it's kind of uncomfortable now. We're four weeks away at this point, so it's it's uh, crunch time and things have changed a lot in the last little bit. Yeah. Like, this is the first one. Mom had four. How was the pregnancies for you? All four were very good. I had no problem whatsoever. And the best part of it, I had no cravings. So, Mr. Randolph Marion, my Papa Lou, was very happy. He didn't have to go to <laughs> any extent of the world to get me anything. Even if he has to go to the moon, he'll get it for me. Such a wonderful man. <laughs> In terms of Megan's cravings, she's she's had a few. Meg, what, what would you say your cravings are? Let's see if uh, I can match them if they're the same. It's been nothing like weird. I think just sweets. Yeah. Ice cream. Makes ice fun. cream, like yo, look up one, two, three ice creams. This is all her. Yeah. All of this is her, and this is like. I'm sorry. Do you also have a bowl? When yeah. I well, if it's gonna be there, I'm, I have to do the scooping of the ice cream. I gotta I gotta get a few scoops myself. What like this is crazy. The, uh, no joke, uh, she's been eating a lot of stuff, and because of her cravings, I'm craving ice cream too every <laughs> night, and I'm I'm there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> other than that, she she is right. She doesn't have any weird cravings other than uh, ice cream. She had pop earlier on, but not so pop, much. Pop, but I tried to cut that out because it's too much sugar. Yeah, too much sugar. Basically, sugar, which is pretty pretty normal. No weird like pickles randomly in the middle of the night. Yeah. I was kind of looking forward to that because. It sounds super hilarious, but uh, no, not not this time. Not this time. And Mama Lou, you had no no cravings with us. Nothing weird, eh? Only that all my four babies, I only used to fall asleep. I do not sleep. Yeah. It was so important to me. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh! But mm -hmm. other than that, nothing. Uh, so you were yeah. getting sleepier. Oh yeah, all the four. Yeah. Uh huh. It is four. so funny. Like okay, you have one, and then you have the next one different. <laughs> but all four had the same. Yeah, you definitely have that fatigue as well. I think the second trimester I had the most energy, but then first and last, now last is. Listen, really the second tired. trimester, this girl was like, <laughs> I swear it was like comedy. When I'm around, she, oh, can, can you get this for me? Can you get that for me? Oh, it's that's over the floor. And then when I go to work, this girl's building all <laughs> kinds of stuff. She's on ladders. She's she's doing the welding. But then you come back home and, oh, can you pick this up? Can you pick that up? I don't know, man. The, this is a conspiracy theory. I'm telling Megan, you this. Megan, <laughs> which is my little monkey. He refers you to my little monkey. What's that? He refers you to my little monkey. She's always doing something. She's always, other. always, always something or other. Building something. She's, she's a wild one. Anyway, it, it's been a great experience so far. And now we got to learn how to cook. And we're almost done. Yes. Right, Mama Lou? We, yes. we're, we're the, the, the meat's already cooked down. Yes. What do we got to add next here? add some meat masala. Okay. You can buy this brand. Basically, it's a mixture of different spices. So if you don't have it, can they. You avoid? can use chemo. Yeah, it's optional. It's you optional. Want, yeah. Okay, chemo masala. It's the best stuff you can buy from the Indian store. So we're just going to. Just a dash, yeah. Okay, just a dash. And my ultimate magic sauce, Dina sauce. Ooh. And how much of this do we put just in? Just a dash again, just to get that little. Sweetness? A little more. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Ah. Megan, can add a little bit of uh, garam masala? This that's one. This, yeah. Good thing. <laughs> About, yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay, while the beef is uh, almost ready to go, it needs about five minutes to make sure the frozen peas are, are finished and cooked through. So we're gonna put a lid on it. We're gonna put it off. So it's gonna cook in its steam and everything like that. And while it's finishing up, we're just gonna garnish it. But uh, we're gonna do a house tour, right? We're gonna show everybody where we're at. It's been a lot of work, Megan. What do you think about uh, moving in and the experience? It was a lot of work. Of Doing course, it work. pregnant as well. Doing it pregnant as well, yeah. That, that was no fun. But we're, we're, we did it. We're finally there. We're four weeks away and the house finally seems like it's ready to go. And we're gonna show Mamalu the nursery. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The whole house is gonna be sounding like that, like nonstop. And, uh, <sighs> Yeah. As of lately, all we've been hearing is toots to be very, it's very. The it's the baby. It's the baby. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I don't know what it is, but it like is. in the last few months, man, this thing is. Gentlemen, watch out. That that's that's a symptom. Okay, let's do uh, our house tour. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Beautiful. We've got a fridge, you know. I don't know what else to say. It's a kitchen. Some baby stuff. Papa Lou. <laughs> <laughs> this is the living room. This is the dining room. There's a washroom. It's a washroom. That's a Karen original. 
Let's go upstairs. A bedroom. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No worries. Okay, Mike, go. <laughs> go in. Oh my gosh. I wish I could turn into a little baby. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Beautiful. That's sweet. Send the top number. Oh, sure, yeah, show the drawers. Diapers, wipes, nice. Clothes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's set. <laughs> Look at that, lucky guy, boy. Nice, well done. The studio for the people who need to see the studio. Alright. See the mud, see the baby tub now. Oh, so All these towels and stuff there. He's a lucky fellow. <laughs> <laughs> <All set. laughs> I see Carl Dexter and me and Shane on the wall there. Very nice. Yeah, I remember those pictures. That's uh, me and Shane, <laughs> Carl and Dexter, me, Megan, <laughs> me, Megan. Can you tell which one is Mumbai and which one's Mississauga? <laughs> It's Megan and brother. That's my parents and us as kids. And parents. Okay, mm. you were excited that it's all done, Meg? Yeah, yes. finally. And there's gonna be a baby here soon. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go downstairs. Let's finish up. So, Mommy, what do you think of the house tour? Beautiful. Well done. A lot of creativity put into it. All her. This She did a lot yes. of work. <laughs> She's so humble, isn't she? <laughs> Incredibly humble. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of work, but it's finally done and happy that uh, you guys got to see it. Yes. And next uh, next time you're here, literally there will be a new little one and yes. you're going to be officially a mama Yes, yes. a new title. And I'll be Papa Lou. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're all, I think we're all done. The, the Kima is finished and now mom, what do we got to do to officially finish it? Yeah, what do we got to do? Yeah, I just had some lemon juice. Yeah, I just had some lemon or lime or both of them. I'm going to add a little squeeze of both. That should be enough. Good. A little bit of lime. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then mix it up again and then put the cilantro. Okay, garnish. What do we serve it with? Is it yeah. served with anything? Yeah, yes, I don't please get the nuts. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Nacho is at her. Uh, okay, so Aaron had one job. I had one job. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to go with this, usually you guys not. <laughs> I, I put it in the oven a little bit too long, so this these are, as Bob was saying, nachos. It's a large tortilla chip. <laughs> this is one extra large Dorito. But if you buy the garlic naan, these guys right here, just put it in the oven and watch it. Okay? It's gonna be very helpful, otherwise. Yeah, this is not ideal. <laughs> this is what you serve uh, our delicious uh, kima with. It goes really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Meg, did you enjoy making the video? Yes, very much so. Mama Lou, did you enjoy making the video? Oh yes, beautifully, especially with Megan. Yes, that's the first one. You think we're gonna make many more coming videos? Yeah. Oh, she's coming from my job. Please take it. Somebody give me a job, by the way. Seriously, this I ain't making no money. Uh, <laughs> So, so help us out. Uh, we also really try to get to 500 subscribers. We're almost there. And I think with this face, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my baby's face. Get do it for the baby. <laughs> do it for the baby. If you like babies, subscribe and help feed this child. So we like and subscribe. Soft nan. So we get, so we get, yo, chill. So we can afford soft nan <laughs> to give this child. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, for subscribing. Mom, you have any last words for her as a mother to be? Do you have any anything to share? Any words of wisdom? Have a lot of sleep. Yeah. I hear that. And yeah. uh, nothing like good wine, good times, <laughs> and good friends. So cheers to Megan. Safe jewelry, healthy baby, all the best. Yes, Take care. Oh. I'm not crying, you're crying. Like, subscribe, share, help feed this baby. Peace! See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Give me a group hug, Mama Lou. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye!